in this video we will look at how to edit the items that we add into the database um in just in case we want to change something or change some information about them we will just have to click on the item name or the item mac address or any of the fields that we will we want to um, use as anchor and after that it will list out the item or it will give us the item from there we can change any data or anything that we want to change in there and then um, save it back into the database all right as usual we've typed all the codes at the website or the blog site where you can just copy and paste and this is all in just three simple steps step number one we will uh, have to create the computer edit view in the views.py so we head over to views.py and create a computer edit view currently we have home view the entry view and the computer list view we will create another view called computer edit view head over here and then copy that view and paste it the computer edit view will take one extra parameter and the parameter is for us to be able to pick an item or select an item that is unique to the list of items that we have in the database and that will be the id of that item that id will now pass down to this function the get object of 404 function which will um, assign that object to this variable that we have here and the variable will now be supplied into the form so that we will see the details of that item in the form and we can edit it and click the save button to update that particular item and before we uh, do anything next before we do anything else we'll have to make sure this function is imported and that is from the django.shortcuts import get object of 404 save that and then move to the next step step 2 is to create a url so copy this url and paste it in urls.py this url is taking a regular expression to pass the id of the item that we clicked or that we supplied in the url of the browser and it will be like computer list slash the id like example if we clicked on the item which is having an id of one it will be computer list slash one slash then that particular item will be rendered out on the browser for us like example if i save that and then come to the app and then put id number one here and press enter you can see it is taking us to um, the item which is having an id of one in the views of py this particular instance here is the reason the form is being populated with the details of the item that we want to edit so the last step is to make sure when we come to the computer list we don't have to type the id right on the browser here we can just click on any of these items and it will take us to the form where we can edit it go back to the blog and copy this last line and then go to computer list paste it on any of the link that you want to or any of the uh, parameters that you want to use as the anchor in my case i want to, i want to use the computer name so i will replace that with this code we can now grab the id of each of these item and use it as anchor and which will allow us to click on the link and edit the item and this is the format url in the name of the url which is specified in urls of py and that's the name of this particular url here and we will supply the id the id is equal to be instant id that's the id of the item that was assigned to this variable when the query set was run so save it and go to the app and refresh and you can see all these items by clicking the name of the item i can now edit the computer name or the ip address mac address and so etc so now this one was called computer one i can now call it computer xyz and save it and you can see that this item is updated successfully i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video